Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. Today we're checking out another piece of cabinet software called Cabmaster. And uh, you know, you guys must be freaking out. Oh no, he's a Mosaic fanboy and now he's checking out Cabmaster. Well, Cabmaster is an Australian based company and we got the opportunity to check it out. I am, I'm just, I'm not a fanboy of Mosaic per se. I'm a fan of things that are awesome and work. So Cabmaster is just another cabinet software that I think perhaps our, the audience that listens, that watches these YouTube videos might be interested in because it's not, you know, well known in North America perhaps. Uh, so yeah, let's, we're going to get into Cabmaster and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so when you first open Capmaster, uh, you get, this is opening in the incorrect screen, but you get this create new drawing window. So we're going to click that, create new drawing, open it up. I think Capmaster is very, um, it's a totally different approach than what Mosaic uses. So I think you guys will find it kind of interesting just to see what it's about. I'm no expert on this software either. You know, I've only been using it a little bit. It's not, it's not like I've used it a ton. So I'm just kind of giving you a rundown of what it's about. So, you know, for the majority of this audience, you're all Mosaic users. So I'm just going to kind of give you a relevance of what this is similar to in Mosaic. So this guy here is sort of like the settings menu in Mosaic where you can set your client, the different addresses, job defaults, all that type of stuff. Um, you know, also you can set your handle settings. I think that this menu is a gigantic part of the software. There's also like machining details, you know, what types of tooling you're going to use, that type of stuff that, um, would be sort of related to Mosaic's parameters library is where they're they're storing it all within this menu in these different folders. So I'm just going to click uh, OK so we can start drawing here. Now what I find is the most interesting is that uh, Capmaster is very in line or more a lot more in line with what I would suspect is the um, multi-print menu in Mosaic and almost like everything's built out around it. The multi-print menu in Mosaic is very similar to how this works. So um, the interesting thing is you you sort of just like draw out a room as if it's on this drawing window kind of thing and then you can play with it from there and do different types of views. Oh. Okay, so from down here in the corner here, you can see there's different types of views that you can look at. The plan view, the elevation view, a 3D view, and then some list and machining views. I'm just going to go through the plan view and the elevations and give you a little bit of a first impression take on how cabinets are kind of dropped in and walls are drawn. So first thing you got to do is go to this insert tab. I will say I like um, a lot more how the snapping is and how the the interface kind of is because it's a lot more intuitive and it's a lot more how do you explain sort of like a polished it's based on the sort of Windows Microsoft Word uh, you know ribbon template so it's a it's more of a modern approach to the user interface so as you're drawing a wall you get this it doesn't snap unless you hold shift and then we'll snap on 45 and 90. So then you can do that. Draw out some walls. It's nice how I'm not even really trying to make the walls connect to each other. It sort of just does it automatically. 
So that would be how you would draw your walls. And then you go to the Home tab and you can drag in cabinets from here. Along this top, you can set up sort of like a favorites library to put up there, or you can drag them in from here. You can see the little preview in the bottom here. It's just very similar to Mosaic. One thing that's kind of interesting is it's not drag and drop sort of. It's more of click this and then drop it in here. And then if you, when you click on the screen, you can sort of, you can hold the button down and it'll automatically sort of reference on the wall. But the interesting thing is you don't need to have cabinets on a wall. It could go anywhere. You could build an island without any walls, which you know, gives you pretty good flexibility on, you know, setting up your your rooms for manufacturing. I find that uh, the snapping is just so smooth in here. Um, you know, that's that's something that's pretty interesting. How you can you can just literally oh, let's just delete this one here, and then we'll drop this guy in. I'm so used to drag and drop. You just got to kind of get used to the, the way this one works. Um, yeah, so you can add tall cabinets. You can add wall cabinets. I'm just going to add a couple of wall cabinets here. Let's go standard. And I'll drop in a couple of those here and here. Um, this software is incredibly powerful and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Like I don't know everything about this software. I'm simply a Mosaic user who had access to check it out. So this is my overview of my little bit of experimenting uh, how this software works. They do have also tutorials on Cabmaster's web website if you wanted to check those out. Um, another interesting thing is so you click that and then you click your elevation and you can view the elevation view of that. You can tell that it's on an angle. That's why it's just kind of showing up weird like that. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select this one. Elevation view. You can see the door swing indicators, um, handles, all that. And this is kind of where I feel like it's more like the um, Mosaic's multi-print menu in that you can take, let's say I just go to elevations and I want to place an elevation. You can just drop it in very similar to that multi-print menu. It's kind of nice that way. You can add Dimension, certain dimensions if you need them. You can use notes. Same idea. Uh, I believe you can change the color. Yeah, you can change all your colors and everything like that if you want. And then one pretty cool feature is this is built on Blender. So you get some really nice rendering capabilities right out of the box without having to, you know, do anything extra. You can, so let's just say I want to add, a, I'm, I'm viewing this in a 3D view and I want to just add a camera. So it's going to take almost like a snapshot of this screen that you're looking at. And then you're, what you're able to do is if I go back to uh, the plan view, I can then go back to cameras and I can place a camera view with that camera that I just had there. And we just wait a second while it updates. Now, okay, let's just delete this other one in behind it. Oops.
Okay, so as you can see, you get that cool sort of like, you can really build out a nice picture of what your customers are going to receive if you do so, if you use something like this. Another cool feature is like, yeah, updates there, updates here. This will take a second because it's doing the rendering and everything, and then updates there. So, you know, tons of capabilities of uh, what you can do building out your your system. And uh, just a just a quick overview of sort of what it takes to start a job. There's a ton to go through in the software. You know, what is capable of it and, you know, what you guys think. I'm interested to know what you guys think in the comments about Capmaster. Um, you know, anything you wanted me to check out in here or let you guys know about it. Um, I believe the pricing is very comparable to Mosaic in general. Um, there is also a full buyout option if you wanted to with this software where I don't think Mosaic can do that. At one point it did, but it doesn't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, it's very, very interesting how, you know, different it is and how it seems extremely capable at first glance. Like there's all kinds of machining templates and stuff that you can set up in here as well. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching this time, guys. Uh, keep hanging out with us and, uh, you know, more videos like this going forward. You know, we're not stopping mosaic videos, but we're we're still we're just kind of like giving everybody an option to check out everything cabinet making so stay tuned have a great one if you're eager to dive deeper into mosaic enhance your shop or explore the possibilities with cnc routers and 3d printing you're in the right place your feedback drives our content so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips watch out for our next video